Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a tiger. We begin marking the top and bottom of the tiger. This so that it doesn't go off the paper. And then we sketch the rib cage. Also, I think I should have done it a little bit more to the left. Sorry. Otherwise the head will end up too much to the right. That's better, and then a mouth line, which will be the midline of the body, and an almost horizontal one for the hips. Having this basic structure, we can begin sketching the shapes of the body. Here goes the head, which is pretty square, or more correctly, rectangular. The neck on both sides and down to the body. The knees. Obviously the tiger is sitting and it's viewed from behind. And now we keep improving the shape. I think tigers are some of the most beautiful animals on earth. The eye goes here, the nose in the corner, and the ears are rounded. Once we have a decent sketch line, we begin cleaning it up. We erase the lines that we don't need anymore. In this case, my midline didn't really end up in the middle of the body, but it doesn't matter because we erase it and make it again. This is a good guideline that will help us make the tiger stripes more correct. Good. Now I switch lead in my 223 mechanical pencil for a softer one to make these darker areas around the eye. And also for the pupil, which by the way, tigers have it rounded, not narrow like other cats. Of course, seen from this angle, it will look like an oval. An interesting note about tigers is that these stripes, they actually have them on the skin. If you were to shave a tiger completely and left him with no fur, you would still see the stripes on the skin. At least that's what I read. I actually have never tried that. <laughs> we switch to a thinner lead for the whiskers and now to a medium one for the main fur and pressing a little bit also for some stripes. By the way, to give opportunity to more people to have a 223 mechanical pencil, we extended the launch campaign for three more weeks. So you are still on time to get one. I will place the link in the information below the video. We continue drawing the four with the stripes. On the face, they are thinner and smaller. Tigers are wonderful animals. They are apex predators meaning they are at the top of the food chain, no other animal hunts them. They normally feed on deer, moose, wild horses, and animals like that. Unlike lions, tigers like to hunt alone, and not in groups. Tigers are the biggest in the cat species, and sometimes they even hunt buffaloes and black bears. They also hunt other predators, like leopards, pythons, and crocodiles. They run really fast, about up to 65 kilometers an hour. And they are some of the few cats that are really good at swimming and diving underwater. We draw the stripes also on the tail, where they become sort of rings. Their roar can be here up to 3 kilometers away. In spite of all this, they are an endangered species. The main reason for this is that we have destroyed most of their habitat. And in addition, he has been pouched. At the beginning of the 20th century, there were about 100,000 wild tigers. Today, there are only about 3,500. But it's worth mentioning that thanks to all the actions that have been taken to protect their jungles and to punish pouching, in recent years, their numbers have increased for the first time ever. And it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.